What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to this Next.js crash course. So in the last video I showed you get initial props and how you can use it to fetch data. I also mentioned that if you are using Next.js version 9.3 or newer, which most of you probably are, this is not the recommended way to go about it. So in this video I'm going to show you that recommended way and that is by using get static props. So basically we're going to do it the same way. We're going to export an async function called to get static props and Next.js will pre-render this page at build time using those props returned. So let's delete this file here and in our pages directory, let's create a new folder. And we will name this folder to do's. And then inside of here, let's create a new file and name it index.js. Inside of this file, we're going to say const to do is equal to use get static props, we will use it the same way as get initial props. We will export an async function. We'll name it get static props. And then we will put inside of here what we want to fetch. So for this example, we're going to be using a JSON placeholder. So if you search up JSON placeholder and click the first link and you scroll down, we're going to be using this to do's. And as you can see, it gives us a list of to do's. Okay, and this is what we will be fetching right here. So let's copy that. And we're going to do it the same way. So we're going to say const res equals await fetch pass in our to do's URL. Const to do's equal to await res.json. Sterilize it and convert it to JSON. And then we can return our props. So we'll do it the same way. We'll say return. And then in here, we can say props. And that will be the to do's. There we go. Now we can come up here and we can pass the to do's in like that. And we can access them again, just like this. But that again will not work because as you saw, it is a list and you cannot put that in HTML. So what we will need to do is map all the to do's to a list. So let me first add the h1 tag, which will be get static props. And then down here, I'm going to define an ordered list. And then inside of here, we can simply map the to do's to a list item. So we can say to do's dot map. And then we can say ID title completed. And these are these values here, ID title and completed. arrow notation and then inside of here we want a list item so it's basically mapping each one of these 200 to do's into a list item and then we are getting these values for each of them so we want to assign a unique key and that will be the id inside of here we want the title there we go and then we also have this completed so we can use that and do something a bit unique. So that is either true or false. And if it's false, it's not completed. If it's true, it is completed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to set this completed as the class name. And if it's true, I want to style it and put a line through it. So I'm just going to come up here and write a style tag. And if you missed the styling video, click the card above right now and you can go watch that. But we're just going to use some JSX styling, just like that. And now inside of here, the class, if it's completed, will be true, false or true. So we can say dot true. And if it is true, all I want to do is say text decoration that will be equal to line 
through. Just like that. So that should work. Let's make sure our server is still running. It is. And let's go back here. Now let's go to slash to do's. And there we go. We have all of our 200 to do's. And as you can see, the ones that are true have a line through it, which is pretty cool. If we take a look at the page source, you'll notice that these to do's are all inside the page. So the to do's are all inside of the HTML. So that's how you use get static props.